Hey, hey, music community, Jeff here again, and we're talking CDs today, but we're not doing the CD collection video that I've currently got going on. There will be more of those, but that's not what today's about. Today's about regular CDs that we bought. The main thing today is about is this box here. This is basically a random box of CDs, but I'll get more to that after I cover the few couple that came in from various sources. These are just recent pickups of the CD nature. So, um, and they've come from different sources, some from the band, some from Amazon, etc. So I picked up Breadcrumbs by Alice Cooper. Now, this came out a while back, um, not too terribly long ago, on CD. Now, originally in like 2019, was it that long ago? Uh, it was released as a 10-inch vinyl only. I don't believe they had a CD version of it. It was just a, a special vinyl uh, issue. And it's an EP, and it had some, you know, various people on there, Mark Farner and some others um, from various bands, and it was some cool stuff, only 20,000 made, you can see. And that was, I think, the only version that was out there. Well, now they put it out on CD, um, and this has probably been out, I don't know, a year or less. Um, but, and it's also got a couple bonus tracks, of course. So it's the same thing there, but then it's got like a uh, two different tracks on there. So I wanted to go ahead and get a copy of this, and it was relatively cheap, under 10 bucks. So I wanted to get this on CD to have an actual digital copy plus the bonus tracks there. So um, same with this one, Paul Stanley's Soul Station. I like this album and I have the vinyl and I've had the vinyl since roughly after it came out. But, you know, I, I didn't like why, you know, with, with Kiss, it's one of those things where I buy vinyl and CD and I just had never picked this up. And again, it's under $10 now. And so I grabbed it. So just a little, a little hole filler there. Um, these next two are fairly new releases. This is the new one from The Brave, Carnival of Sins. Um, Christian hard rock band. They've been around since the 80s. They disappeared for a while. They came back and have done a couple albums recently. Really great stuff. Uh, their previous album was on vinyl, their, their first release. But this one and the one prior to this have yet to notice any or mention any vinyl release. So I have been buying them on CD. Um, this one in Grave Digger. Melodic, metal, hard rock, 80s flair to a degree, a little modernized sound here. Um, so yeah, great stuff. Love the band, so I had to pick that up. And then this is the new one from White Cross. I had just been lax on picking it up. I've been listening to it online. Um, they did release an EP that came out a little before this. It's a, it's, I, I say it's a new lineup. They've got a new singer, so that's a difference. It's still Rex Carroll and, and, uh, and them on the rest of the instruments i mean on, on instruments so um so the singer you know he carried on with white cross for a couple albums after rex left back in the 90s and then the band kind of disappeared and then rex came back and has been pushing with it um for a while now a couple years and they've been doing concerts and stuff and this is uh fear no evil is the most recent full album the little ep that came out before if i'm not mistaken was songs that did make it to this album. I have to go back and look to make sure, but I'm pretty sure that was like a pre-release. And this is a, you know, cool little gatefold looking uh, digi pack there. So yeah, I had to pick that up. Now, White Cross, I've been a fan for. I saw them in 1987 before anybody knew who they were. They played at Cornerstone in Illinois, big Cornerstone Festival, 1987, and they just blew us away. And it was shortly after that that their first album came out. So. We had not heard a lot about them until before that. So let me tell you about this box here. You can see it says eBay on it. That's just an eBay box. Um, if you're familiar with uh, the Heavy Metal Museum, uh, he has Heaven and Hell Records, et cetera, et cetera. He does a lot of stuff, music. I buy a lot of stuff from him, um, vinyl, stuff like that. So if you're familiar with him and all of his things, you may be on his mailing list. Maybe you saw this. Anyway, I took advantage of it. It was an email that went out. They posted on Facebook that there was a special Halloween uh, mystery box where for $20, you get 11 miscellaneous CDs. Now, after the fact, I saw another post where they said that, yeah, you're, you're allowed to buy two boxes, two, two sets, and they guarantee new duplicates. I had already placed it for one. I'm fine with 11 because like I said, these uh, these are probably from his label going to be obscure bands that I'm not familiar with. So, you know, kind of just cool stuff, but uh, I probably didn't need an overload of the material. No, it would have been neat for, for the cheap price. So here we go, 11 CDs. We will see what we got. And like I said, I'm really doubtful that I'm gonna know any of these bands. 
I doubt I have any of these bands because I haven't bought a lot of CDs from his label. I have bought mostly vinyl records. Maybe there's some CDs of some vinyl in here. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. All right, let's dig in and see what we got here. I have seen this one on the, on the, on the site, and I think I even checked these guys out to see if I would like it. Shake, Faith, Shake, Shake the Faith. So, anyway. And they're all going to, you know, I again, I'd have to look up to know where these bands come from. This is a 2018 release. And, you know, they're going to be standard, probably, hard rock, sleaze rock type stuff. But once I open them, get into them, I'll find out what year these bands existed. Some of them may be new bands. Um, Boise, like, another 2018. Another classic rock looking band uh we ought to know so yeah i just can't wait to dive into these because these all look and look like they're going to be quite killer salvation spelled quite interesting keep up the fire again like i said i'm not surprised i don't know who any of these bands are 2019 heaven Hell records so, not a whole lot to see there. Subliminal Shock. Welcome to the new norm. 2022. Four Large Men. The Bad Boys Rockin'. From 2021. Can't tell much about them. All you see is their legs. So, what I may do is I'll probably go back, explore these, give them a listen, and come back maybe and give an update on uh, what we've got here. Terror Boulevard, Albany Street, Trash, 2021. Love the artwork on some of these. They just scream kind of music that I probably would enjoy wanting to get. Okay, this one I've seen before, too. I actually checked these guys out online because I was interested. I think the artwork appealed to me, and I was interested to check them out. I think I did like them. So this is Cruella, Vengeance is Mine, uh, 2017. I believe I saw something about them. Might maybe had some other albums out. That's probably what drew my attention to them. Um, very interested to check out this one for sure. All right. The tongue, the tongue bandits. Okay, this one's a little risque. Um, I'm gonna show you the back of it. You can only assume the front. It's got a cartoon edition of um, a woman. Anyway, um, yeah, 2021. We'll keep it clean here. I'm not gonna show the front of that. If you're really, really interested, go check them out. The tongue bandits. T U N G. If you really want to see that. Uh, Texas Metal Outlaws. Okay, the name is screaming it. Some bad hombres. What is this year? 2018. So. Getting quite a few from the 2018 time frame, or it looks like. White Boy and the Average Rat Band. We may meet again someday. 2017 release. And again, you know, I get into these. They may be bands from the 27th. You know, these may be new bands. They may be repress, reissues of older music. So we will see. Well, this one has like, oh, I don't see any name. Rock Forever and Roll Till I Die. Dan Jeff Jeffries. Dan Jeffries. Oh, I guess maybe. Uh, it's hard to see if there's a logo on there. 2020. This is the one that looks the most different. It doesn't seem to have a band name. It's a guy. I can interesting to see what this is. So there you go. Anyway, if you check it out, they may still have it. Depends on uh, when you see this. But uh, we are here approaching the end of October, and so this Halloween gift box, you know, may be a limited. Obviously, may be gone by the time you see this. But anyway, check it out. Bunch of CDs, great stuff. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you later. I'll let you know more about these. Hopefully, I'll remember to do that once I get into them. And I'll see you later. Rock on and rock hard.